become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. So first, why pressure testing is required? It may be a vacuum test, it may be a hydrostatic test, it may be a pneumatic test. Basically, what is the reason why it is required? As we are going to uh, design the vessel uh, for the design pressure, we are going to perform the calculations for the same. Then why again there is a need to go for and test the equipment before it is going into the field or in actual operation. So the reason being, before the vessel to be put in under actual operation, it must be checked for any leakages or its integrity to avoid any mishap during the actual operation. So what is the meaning of that? Before putting the vessel in actual operation and let's say there is a lethal service. So what will happen if there are any leakages and those are come to know in the operating condition then what will happen if it already will be leaked and the people uh, will lose their life. So that is a very uh, severe condition. So prior to that if we are going to test it and if that failure will be arrested at hydro test condition and we are going to rectify it. So uh, by the time it will be ready for the actual operation it will be 100% okay from the pressure and temperature point. <coughs> So to take care of that, uh, the pressure vessel for its uh, leakages and for its integrity to avoid any mishap should be hydrostatically, pneumatically or vacuum uh, tested if the vacuum is applicable for that uh, vessel. So this is how the pressure testing is important. Another uh, significance of uh, conducting the pressure test is, let's say uh, when we conduct the test at the shop, the in shop all the tools and tackles are available so if there are any leakages if there is any uh, weld failure so that can be easily uh, rectified again the radiography can be taken again the hydro testing can be done after that the uh, painting uh, surface finish maintenance and everything can be easily obtained in shop but what if it is uh, erected and placed and the piping is attached and after that it, uh, we are going to test it and at that point of time we'll come to know that there is a leakage then it will be altogether very uh, time consuming. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, manners involved. It will be a lot of cost involved that will incurred to remove that equipment, to put it down, to again rectify it, uh, to conduct all the necessary <coughs> operations on that. Then again uh, to paint it and again uh, to place it at the site. So it will be a very time consuming and uh, costly procedure. So if we can avoid this by conducting one test at the shop, so that will be more preferable. So that's the reason why before vessel to be put under actual operation, it must be checked for any leakages or integrity to avoid any mishap during the actual operation. So that is the significance why one should carry out these kind of tests before putting the vessel in actual operation. So it is the method to check the pressure vessel, storage tank, pressure piping, boiler for ensuring the safety of the pressure system. Yes, obviously, as we are going to test it to a certain pressure which will be more than the design pressure. So it is going to be tested for, for from a pressure safety point of view. Then second point is the integrity of the vessel. What do you mean by integrity? That the vessel will be made up from different components which will be integrated or welded together or these are bolted together so after assembly whether the vessel is having enough integrity and there won't be any leakages that is also going to be get checked while doing this test so that is also very important one then leak tightness so as we are going to test it at a higher pressure than its normal operating pressure or design pressure so we are going to make sure that whether there are any leakages if there are any leakages we are going to erase those leakages so that point will also be taken care of during this test and strength of the pressure vessel as we are going to pressurize the vessel more than its design pressure more than its mawp rather maximum capacity of that uh, uh, vessel and we'll be going to increase that pressure by 30 percent at least so what we are going to do we are going to stretch that vessel to its extreme limit and we are going to check that that the strength of the 
uh, pressure vessel. So all these points, the safety of the pressure uh, vessel, then the integrity of the vessel, then leak tightness and strength of the pressure vessel, all these points will be checked after conducting or during this test of pneumatic hydro test or any other type of testing which is allowed by the code. 